The Jesuits are prominent in Northern California, the force behind the giant 2,000-seat St. Ignatius Church, a San Francisco landmark next to the Jesuit San Francisco University. Priests say that today began with a jolt from the Vatican. I was watching it on TV this morning, and uh, it was, it was uh, yeah, I would say it was a shock and uh, just a real surprise. Father Copeland says the Jesuits broke away from the Roman Catholic Church about 200 years ago. They focused on education and study, being literally driven out of Catholicism. We were suppressed, meaning that there, the Jesuit order theoretically was gone. Gone. And was gone. So these not included. Not included. We were we were sort of out of the picture, so to speak. But Russia welcomed the Jesuits back into the fold. Russia, as I understand it, uh, basically said we're not going to uh, follow what what Rome says with uh, regards to the Jesuits, and we're going to keep them. Yeah. We like the work that they're doing. We like the education that they're providing to our to our citizens, and and the direction that they're. They're taking our country, with, uh, in, especially with regards to education, so we're, we're going to disregard what, what Rome says. By 1880, the spiritual rebuilding and church rebuilding had begun. The Jesuits constructed the colossal St. Ignatius Church after the great San Francisco earthquake. They established the University of San Francisco, Santa Clara University, and Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles. It's been a record of Jesuit achievement for an order defined by vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. And now crowned literally by a South American Jesuit cardinal, elevated to Pope with the big job of moving the Catholic Church forward.